Hello everybody, my name is Ansel and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria Tuna Points Legacy as the British Empire. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, what were we doing? That's a good question. Why do we have so many 3,000 stack armies? They're just all kind of sitting around all these stupid islands. I have a lot of stupid islands, don't I? Yes, yes I do. But wasn't there a war going on? I could have sworn... Something was happening. Also, if we get our radios, we can get uh, some prestige. Found the BBC. But, uh, let's see... Diplomacy? Wars? No, okay, no, Germany and France were fighting a war. Right, okay. That's what was happening. Now I remember. Okay. So... You, but you're still, like, fifth place, aren't you? Yeah, he's still doing quite well for himself. I don't really know what South Germany has done, but they are doing very, very well. Now, Poland Lithuania is doing pretty alright. Galicia is down here. Uh, basically, the answer is Austria is doing pretty bad. You know, they've lost Galicia. Uh, they've lost Bohemia. They've lost, I think, part of Yugoslavia. Unless... Did Austria have Bosnia at the beginning? I'm not too sure. They might have. I don't really remember. But either way... What is this? German Communist? Uh, not... I don't really care too much. Ger South Germany only has a single infantry regiment right now, so that's not very good. And these are actually pr apparently not uh, good for craftsmen. Is there just unemployment? Yeah, that is the issue. Okay, so let's look at where has the most factories. Uh... And just, you know, throw more workers there. Uh, we have 1.4 million pounds, so let's upgrade as many factories as possible. Spend about half a million pounds right there, so that's good. And we could also build some more divisions. Are we training troops at the moment? We're not. You're just all pure infantry. So is there anybody in Europe we can build? Uh, you are five, so you, you should be good for anything else. Uh, Europe seven, so we'll get seven. Cancel two and make those drag or make them engineers so that that'll be all right We'll still need the dragoons for the uh, army in Britain, but for now that should be fine 22 in North America. Wow That's actually quite a bit there should not be a rally point here But we are still needing engineers, right? I think that's what we are missing. So yeah, let's get these two guys out of here So we need one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, technically eight for the uh, the six stack there. So we're going to need eight engineers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll do whatever after that. And then all these dumb three stacks that are just going to kind of be hanging around. Like, I don't know. I know some of them can rally. Oh, no, they can't rally because, yeah, the things aren't here anymore. So never mind, they can't rally. They'll just kind of be there forever. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, you're a 63 stack. You're probably a little bit too big. Oh, you have all the engineers in the world. Okay, I can understand now. Let's get so let's get at least a handful of these engineers out of here. Just so that they're left with a uh, 2. I guess it would be a 42,000 stack. The 21. But why do we why do we have so many? Unless you have no engineers. No, you do. You're missing a cannon now. So why do we have so many? One second, Sweden. I'll see what you want in a second. Okay, so we'll send one there. We'll send you to that one. Get the six split in half. Send one to there. Send the other three stack that is not moving to this other guy over here. Wait, he didn't actually walk to the right place. We're gonna wait for him to walk over there anyway, because I will not want to select so these uh, like four guys walking around. That'll be a little bit annoying. You are also an engineer, but I don't think we need you. Also, they're part of a rebel faction, weren't they? Was that for a United India, perhaps? Oh no, they're just nationalist. Not even, not even Indian nationalist. Just nationalist for whoever who cares. So Sweden's at war with Denmark, Norway. Oh yeah, they were justifying a claim against them, weren't they? Danish conquest of Swedish conquest of Danish Nord Norge, which I believe is the state right up here. Yeah. Uh Denmark is allied to 
Jackal. Uh, they are technically allied with the South German Federation, but like as we see, they have two brigades and they have a small communist brigade, which is half the size of the German army. So you know what, Germ you know what, uh, Sweden? I think we'll say yes to your little war. You know, no reason not to participate. Uh, where's our navy, by the way? Yeah, our big navy. We can just blockade this straight and make sure the Danish don't actually go into Sweden proper. Our navy should be able to beat their navy any day of the week, so we don't have anything to worry about there. And let's take a quick look at our sphere of influence. Just to make sure we're not going to be losing anything anytime soon. Yeah, probably be faster just to look in this one, huh? Yeah, like this one, Galicia. You know, you're cutting it a little bit close with Russia, so we're going to have to decrease your opinion there. Uh, what else we got? Greece neutral, cordial, cordial, and friendly with Mexico, but we're supposed to be influencing Mexico quite a bit. These guys I feel like we can all drop. I mean, yeah, Sweden and Romania were actually got out of the Russian sphere whenever they dropped into the Great Power. So that is good. Does Sweden have a core here? They don't. So we're not going to be able to get to war with Russia that way. Not that we really want to be at war with Russia. Interventionalism's alright, but I do prefer state capitalism. Of course, the Danish army already got onto the main I or into the mainland of Sweden, but we'll have this 162 stack just kind of blockade the rest of the area. That might just make them retreat right away, or not retreat, but surrender right away, seeing as they are as a 39% war score. So yeah, they're probably not gonna give up. If it was just say a like a 4%, then they would just give up by the blockade, but Basically, let's force the Danish Navy just to kind of hang out there. 11.5 for just that blockade. Yeah, then let's blockade the entirety of the strait. Let's blockade everything that Denmark has. Yeah, I mean, I, they... I mean, they own Greenland. And Iceland? I don't know about- I don't know about you guys, but li I'm liking this little island hop from, like, Newfoundland, Greenland, Iceland to, uh, Scotland. I feel- uh, are you also included in Iceland and Greenland? Yeah, I think controlling these islands might be in our best interest. So, maybe if anything goes well against you, let's say a place in the sun for Iceland and Greenland. You know, 10 infamy. Uh, we can afford 10 infamy. Yeah, so let's try to take Iceland and Greenland. I think it is part of our destiny to control this land. 18.7% from, uh... Blockades as well. We're actually getting a stupid amount of points for this. So we have a 54 stack against a 50 stack of Swedish troops. If Sweden can stay in the mountains, then they should be completely fine. Uh, oh my god, which one of these was the transport fleet? Uh, be the 78, right? Okay, so let's send over a 142 stack to help protect... Uh, we'll probably just go siege on Copenhagen. We can just land right there and we don't have to worry about it. None of our troops will really take any casualties other than a little bit of attrition. So yeah, you guys, it is just like G or something, isn't it? it doesn't really matter. You guys get over here. This 12 stack can't do anything against us. And the Swedish army's up here. We got a 45 stack. Yeah, free trade, and like, there's still never, never a reason to take protectism. Like, it doesn't do anything for you. But let's take the uh, Ninth Fleet, which I probably should just name, rename Transport Fleet at some point. Land them straight into Copenhagen. Uh, we'll probably fund our army at least a little bit to make sure they actually get reinforcements when they arrive. And I'm sure they'll go show up there at some point. There we go. They 4,000 men died. I said, no, not 4,000. About 800 men died. Just landing into the city, but hopefully we can take the city actually before the end of the month means we won't take an attrition tick. So be able to capture, you know, we took Copenhagen and we only lost, you know, 900 men. To me, that sounds pretty all right. We forced out the Danish Navy. Uh, what does the Navy, Danish Navy consist of? Uh, you know, a lot of straight transports and some other things, but, you know, we should win pretty easily. Socialists and communists, 37.8% of the vote, which is fine. Actually, we're losing a lot of ships. Even though they have no organization. They took out five of our transports. We actually lost that battle. Which is kind of bad. Let's go to Hull. Are you also a rally point? Of course you're a rally point. 
No rallying to anywhere that is not London. Go straight to London. That's all you gotta do. Just go straight to London. Yep, yeah, there we go. We're already at 41%. The Tokyo occupation, 32. Blockades. Copenhagen is, what, 116,000? If we look at the population density map, which I think does affect war score cost. Yeah, it would just be go to the next island. Probably take another 800 men. Ah, oh, we're probably gonna take an attrition take though because I went too early. That's a bit of an issue. But Catalonia, there we go. Uh, HM's government. Ah, not surprising. I thought they would have actually just turned into a uh, communist. I thought they were going communist, were they not? Maybe I just don't know. There we go. We got Mongol stand into our sphere. You know, we can re uh, gaining our control of India. Catalonia wants a line? Sure. Really have no reason to say no to them. Now they have a 39 stack against a 12 communist. So it looks like this government should be able to at least hold out a little bit. Irish product, no liberals. 43? Was the second one really just not worth as much? Or is it because, like, what's your. The defender occupation is basically nothing. And why did I send my transports back? We need them in Copenhagen to pick up these troops in the future. Next, I guess they can just land on the island that they are currently on. Okay, so there is a Danish Sweden engagement. Can I look at these numbers? I mean, I took an attack penalty, but it looks like they are going to win. We didn't get a war score screen or anything like that. 46%. You should... <laughs> I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to send it. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. You don't really lose anything from sending it early. Neutral, neutral, cordial, cordial, Brazil, and Abyssinia. A lot of people are actually very interested in Brazil, and I'm still not too sure why. Also, the Ottoman Empire. Like, how are people with you? I see no reason to even take that. I feel like it's just really bad. One infamy for five points in influence? Which you can get in, like, like a few days? It's, it's not worth it at all. Or is it worth it? Let's see. Let's see. We got point three here. So three days we get one point. Yeah, that'll be like fifteen points. And if you add it on max and know the countries involved, you can get probably that in five days. So yeah, five days versus a month at peace. Actually, no, it's not a month. It's one infamy. So you can either wait five days worth of points, or you can spend at best ten months. Letting the infamy take down. Yeah, that's a, that's an awful deal. Who thought that was a good one? People are going bankrupt. Of course they are. They're always going bankrupt. There we go. But we occupied the capital. Uh, I don't feel like we need to go anywhere else. So we'll just basically abandon... You know, we'll just abandon uh, Denmark. I don't see a good reason for us to be there anymore. Could we just get some more points maybe in... Battles plus three... Yeah, I mean, occupation is going pretty well. Oh, we got uh, bolt action rifles. That means our unit appearance has changed. But let's just try blocking, blockading just everything. But yeah, I think we need also this one. Very important. We need the gas attack. I, If I forgot gas attack, we would have been completely screwed. And there we go. We got our new British uniforms. Sadly, we don't get the models... For the, uh, I, I actually might modify that in next time we play, uh, the, the unique British DLC models, which I have, they're just not, uh, they're not on. Let's see, does Prussia have them? Yeah, like the Prussian models here, which are kind of fancier than just the default, uh, default guy. Probably turn that on next time. We probably just force it in. So we're 48%, Denmark. 53, they would accept. I mean, I'll be fair, it looks a little bit ugly. We can automatically turn it into a state. How is that possible? How is, how can we automatically do that? 100% Danish. 100% Icelandic. Is there just a lot of, like, British people here? Do we accept Inuit? Huh. 
Huh. It's all Danish and Inuit. But it has 25% bureaucrats. That's a lot of bureaucrats. But I thought they had to be of your primary culture. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's grant them statehood. Congratulations, you were a colony. Apparently even Denmark couldn't get you to be an actual state. But you know, here we are. 50,000 people added into the empire. But you know, on the other hand, we basically control the Nordic Sea. Or not, not the Nordic Sea. Uh, the Arctic Sea. Which you know, give a hundred, hundred and so years having this much territory up north. We'll give you a lot of claims on oil that you, you don't even know exist up there. But there we go, we've, we've succeeded in our war. Let's get all of the boats. Uh, is it, is it shift? Is it shift that's like only boats? Yeah. So let's get all the boats here, send them to Canterbury, except for the transports, so they can hang out here. And the uh, engineers, we can just kind of send them to wherever the hell they need to be. Send the, send the three here. Send the six split in half, send one over there, and then send you to that province. And we can also pass uh, some new laws. What are people interested in the moment? Being liberated for Denmark. That's probably not going to happen. But some work hours. And sure, you can have a 12-hour workday. A 14-hour workday. That is a long damn time. Jeez. But there we go, we got a bunch of nice 42 stacks. I quite like that. Uh, so what is actually missing in Europe? We have the infantry and the cannons, and I don't think anybody else is able to be built in Europe. Oh, can we build two more guys? We need more cannons. Build more cannons in Europe. And we're building more engineers in North America too. Yep, so you go here, you go here, and then you can go up north to Kingston. And then whenever the other guys arrive, we'll kind of send them where they need to be as well. Oh, what's going on up here? Sind? Oh no, those are just rebels. Well, that's a little bit, that's kind of boring. Indian Pan Nationalists, which I'm pretty sure probably can't do anything. If it's anything like the German Pan Nationalists, the, the event just won't fire. Which is a bit, a little bit, a little bit sad. But it would be kind of interesting to see a United India. A United India being, you know, hyper bad, and these guys up here, I think, forming one nation without this or, like, Bengal. Which would be a little bit disappointing for, you know, that empire, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. We have a three stack here of infantry. We have a three stack here of engineers, and a three stack here, I'm gonna team. Yep, our engineers. Light Peter, will you give me military access? No. Austria, we're allies, so they should say yes. The French, absolutely, I'm pretty sure, but they will, will never say yes. Even if it's just for me to move my stack somewhere else. Oh, we have a 30 stack down here. I completely forgot about you. You're just hanging out in uh, the Zulu land, the Zulu kingdom. <laughs> we can just kind of safely ignore you, I think. And Iowa, I don't think we really care about at the moment. I'm sorry, I I'm sorry, Iowa. We have some better things to worry about. Oh, Ulster. Oh yeah, this is for the British Union to re-come into existence. If, for example, the British Union gets North... Oh, this is... Yeah, I mean, we have this word Ireland because we can't have the British Union come back. Of course the French would back an independent North Ireland. Doesn't make it doesn't doesn't make a goddamn lick of sense, and also that I think just them existing would also cause it so that the the whole Australian thing, which we've kind of avoided, just purely because we got just because we killed the British Union, that might fire now, depending on how that goes. Of course, we'll attend the Olympic Games. I don't know why we wouldn't. Cordial, neutral, 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 friendly with Mexico. Absolutely, under no circumstances am I allowing this. And we got some people who are going to back us, hopefully, we'll see in a second. So which one, who do, who do you guys feel like supporting? Prussia wants to back us, because we're allies. We're allies with you, so you want to back us. We're not allied with you, and we're allied with you. So three of these guys are our allies. One of them is the Russians, who, uh, they want to, they want to support the French, because the French and Russia are allies, and I'm allied with the rest of Europe. 
So, you know, the, the, this whole, like, power block thing we got going on is fairly one-sided. Are the French in second place? They are, too. The French are the closest rivals, the United States, and as, you know, somewhat distant third. I'm actually very, very surprised by the United States. I mean, they are the United States. They generally do good no matter, like, what. Also, has fascism been discovered yet? No, I'm, I'm just waiting for the United States to skyrocket, to skyrocket in fascism whenever that, uh, becomes available. But France, France, France. I think it is time for us to go to war. Great wars have been discovered, right? I don't know if there's a way for me to check on that, but I believe, I believe so. And we can't, I don't think we can create alliances or anything at this point, right? And find somebody who I'm, I have to find somebody who I'm just not allied with, which apparently is very, very hard. Or is it just with great powers we're not allowed to ally with? Yeah, because it's, it's a crisis. And China is still basically a complete mess of a nation. But who else is France allied to? Okay, so they're allied with the, the Spanish, Belgium, this little guy up here, Berg, Algeria, Tunis. But we saw Morocco on our side. Are you allied with these guys as well? No, they're just in their sphere. They're not even allies. So I don't really know what they're doing. Oh, look at this little guy. He just became independent. Good work, Muggle Stan. You're, you're, you're kind of falling apart. How many people are living in this country? Half a million? Do I care enough to support that? I don't think so. And I don't really care about, you know, bailing out Muggle Stan either. Just because I want to see what these pan-nationalists are going to do. If they do anything. But I do think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name has been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, click thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.